Now, this was the time where we were not allowed in the hotels, you know. It was the time of the apartheid, uh, where you couldn't even uh, go and have a sip of beer with a friend. Now, I was working in a film called The Hellions with uh, Richard Todd, Lionel Jeffries, and uh, James Booth. Now, after shooting, these guys uh, invited me to come to the hotel and have a drink with them, a beer, you know. And I told them, listen, man, this is South Africa. Uh, I wouldn't dare put my, just my foot there, you know. Why can't I say, apartheid, I'm not allowed to sit with whites. But come on, we, 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 we fellow actors, it doesn't matter here, man. So it happened uh, one time when I was in America, I uh, met uh, Lionel Jeffries having a beer on Sunset Boulevard there. We met each other and then he reminded me that now this is the time, Ken, to give you that beer I owed you. So we had a drink and it was wonderful. So you are you are an international actor. You've been you've been internationally known for several years now. How long has it been since that situation has has ceased? That you, you feel now that you can go in uh, on equal terms? Yeah, about like I said, now there's been quite a remarkable change, yeah. But for the best, I hope. Uh, this could be three years ago, four years ago. That has been this remarkable change where I could now sit down, go to a restaurant or a bar and have a drink together. It's about, uh, like I said, three or four years ago. Uh, we welcome, of course, this change. Things now are being normal. I am now uh, regarded as a human being, I think. I I'll tell you something, uh, the experiences I had overseas. Uh, now, I went there when during the old South Africa, uh, we were still uh, carrying passes those days, you know. You know a pass? Uh, and my ambition, or rather, I always wanted to sit on a bench in a park. Because here I was not allowed to sit on a park, you know, during those days. Now, for the first time, I saw myself in, in, in Central Park in New York, sitting there. But then I saw a policeman on a horseback passing by. Automatically, I went for my book. And then it dawned to me that, ah, come on, Ken, this is New York. And that policeman just walked past, he didn't even look at 